when uh, when we actually made the tank uh, when i actually went about making the tank for the contest uh, it it was a bit of a challenge because i wanted it to be a really good one and of course i wanted to be one of the top uh, people in the contest and um, i decided to go the route scape at that point of time uh, i did a lot of study in terms of uh, uh, how amano sets up his tanks how uh, what kind of um, you know aesthetic appeal that he looks at the kind of uh, synergy or the synchronization that he looks at in terms of making a max scape uh, and after a lot of thought process i actually went ahead and created that tank for last year what you got to realize is you got to understand how things are done in nature in the sense if a driftwood is placed in a particular way why is it placed that way or if a rock is positioned in a certain way why is it positioned that way you got to actually look at those pictures of those tanks and understand the synergy between the different elements in that tank uh, between the driftwood between the rocks between the plants the type of plants that you use everything has to have some kind of a synergy between them that's when you actually end up making a great scape and for the end result of course i mean creating a good tank is one then a, then you have to showcase the tank as well so taking a good picture is equally important at the end of the day to actually show that the work that you've done is actually as good as it comes on a print remember that you shouldn't have any kind of algae spots or in the side glasses as well remove all the equipment from your tank when you're actually taking the final photo ensure that you probably clean the tank at least a day prior let the filtration run for 24 hours so the water clears out before you actually going to take the photograph and it's like the water is you know crystal clear and yeah don't wait till the last moment to trim your plants and expect them to grow trim them at least 2 to 3 weeks before you going to take the final photo